What was the difference in the first half and the second half for you guys? I don't know if it was a lot, uh, lack of focus, loss of focus, but um, they came out shooting threes, came out more aggressive. Um, we talked about it before we came back out that they were going to, um, their coach probably yelled at them a little bit for, for the first half, so we had to come out with the same energy that we did the first half, and it just didn't happen that way. How were you guys feeling at half? Obviously, you played well, held your own, and were leading. We felt great. Um, like we said, we just wanted to keep up the same intensity, same um, energy that we did the first half. And I think we did a little at the beginning, kind of hit that rough patch in the middle, and then try to play catch up the rest of the half. Were you feeling the pressure at all in the second half when they came out with more intensity, especially since you had a really good intensive first half? We felt it a little bit, but we knew it was going to happen. Like we, said, we talked about it that Coach Walsh was probably um, going to talk to them, yell at them even at halftime for the, um, how they played in the first half. And, um, the first time you met, Louisville was the only team this year to hold you to single digits. Today you go for 20. Did you come into this game with sort of a, something to prove to them, or did they defend differently? What was the difference for you individually? Something to prove to them, something to prove to myself, my teammates, everybody. I didn't play the way that I wanted to last game. We've been focusing for it, pretty much uh, ready for it since we lost it the last time. and um, I just came in ready this time. Knew what they were going to do from the beginning. Pretty much you would have had 20, 25, 26 of their free throws, right? This is true. When you played the first time, you trailed by 15 at halftime. Today you were leading by two. What was the biggest key, the biggest difference in the first half today compared to last time? Well, I, th I thought we executed our game plan offensively and defensively uh, against them the first half. Uh, we, you know, we also made some, we made some threes. Uh, you know, I thought Karina got herself going today, which is, which is something we definitely needed. You know, we need some other players to step up and hit some shots. Mal hit some big shots the first half. And I think we played fearless the first half, very, very aggressive. And, uh, you know, even especially when we played just about the whole first half without a keel because it's so important to have a keel uh, on the floor for a lot of reasons. But in the second half when we, we came out, you know there, there's a reason they're a top five team in the nation and they're going to make a run at you. But I felt like... You know, that run the second half, they got a couple open looks on the three. We had some turnovers against their pressure. And, uh, you know, we gave up 10 threes today. You can't do that. You can't give up 10 threes. And, and we didn't even shoot 50% from the free throw line. And I thought, I thought those two were the, were the biggest keys. They are a difficult team, it seems to me, inside out. It's like, how do you, how do you pick your poison on, on that? Well, you know, we... We're not a real deep team. We don't have a deep bench, so we have to play more zone than I would, I would like to. But if you look at it, we had like four players in foul trouble the first half, and four players in foul trouble most of the game, and we matched up most most of the second half. But I, I thought the biggest difference this second time around was was Slaughter. Uh, you know, she hadn't she'd been coming back. She hadn't been scoring much, and I and I told her team, uh, you know, I, I said. You know, we got to pay attention to her because if she starts hitting threes and she's in her groove, then it, it, it can be it can be dangerous. And we didn't close out on her a couple of times. We, you know, they got they got a number of threes off of when we were matched up, and they penetrated and kicked out to spot up shooters. And you know, they they nailed them. That and it does it makes the team so much more dangerous when they when they got an inside outside game. And they're tough inside. They're, they're post players. You know, Hammond is uh, she's a strong post player. She's you know, she's, she really she plays the game hard. You've talked since the beginning of the year about wanting people other than Keena to score. Today you got four three-pointers from Karina Baker. Did you say something different to her prior to the game, or did you see anything in practice leading up to this that would maybe give you a hint that this was coming? I know it's probably, it's probably the fact that I didn't say anything to her is what probably allowed her to hit those threes. But, I mean, she, she's been due. She, we need that. She's capable of hitting the three. And, and uh, we need her to to be to to be confident in shooting the basketball. And a couple of times, I thought the girls found her when when she was open, when they actually double teamed Keena and she was on the offside. Uh, we made some nice passes to her, but that's that's what we have to do.